All right, hey Taurus, so I am doing a ghosted read for you guys. If this doesn't resonate, make sure you guys check your other placements. Crosswatch your person's read, I don't know. Um, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys subscribe. This isn't the only kind of read I do, I do all sorts. So I'm just going to pull um, a couple of cards to see what the dynamic is, the overall um, connection is for Taurus and the person on their mind. I'm not going to pull on your energy. I'm just going to pull on um, recent past and the reason why they um, ghosted. All right. Um, so at the bottom of the deck, we have divine timing. Patience, perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows when. All right. So that's going to be the overall energy. And we have release, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt, and balance, yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. All right. So um, it could be that somebody's holding on to something in this situation. Um, look at, we have divine timing, balance and release. So I feel like somebody, um, could be trying to control, um, outcome in this situation when that's not really how the universe works. Right. So let's see what the recent past is for Taurus and this person recent past. What do we got? We got the Page of Wands, the Empress, and the World card. All right, so here's what I feel. Um, I feel like there has been small talk between you guys, all right? But this is a ghosted, so this is um, also showing me that you guys are not in communication currently. But in the past, um, I feel like there was some back and forth, okay? With the Page of Wands coming out, um, this is uh, kind of telling me that this was never a, a true full-on relationship, um, we have the Empress and the Page of Wands coming out as energies, so like human energies. Um, so I feel like one person's there and the other person is kind of embodying the page, um, not ready to make anything happen um, when it comes to the seriousness of the connection. With the Ten of Wands, this is showing me that somebody is carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of weight. Um, quite possibly, it's going to be the page energy that's showing up here. All right. And with the world card coming out, I do feel like this is where the cycle ends with you and this person. Um, but it does come in reverse. All right. So this says that this connection is not over with. All right. It's not over with. And um, based off of these cards, divine timing, balance and release, that's telling me that there is um, bigger um, bigger energy at play. So why did this person why did this person ghost? Why did they ghost? We got the Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's going back and forth. It could be that the Page of Wands right here is juggling energy. All right. And you guys are going to flip the roles as, the, as you see fit. But somebody's tossing energy back and forth. All right. And you could be showing up as the Empress. So the Divine Feminine Energy in this read. Um, this is somebody who, uh, with these cards coming out, Divine Timing is coming out, you know, patience. All right. Um, you're, you're going to be the one that's focusing on um, Divine Timing. All right. And just kind of releasing control of the outcome. This Page of Wands, I feel, is the one. Um, this is um, sexual energy too. All right, so this is telling me that this person's not ready. Okay, this person's going back and forth. They're not ready to be um, divine masculine energy. All right. Um, I feel like with the Six of Swords coming out is this person's just trying to get to a place where the water is calm. So I, that's telling me that this person's kind of got a lot of shit going on in their head and it's not balanced with the Six of Pentacles. It's not balanced energy. So this person's got too much going on. It could be um, other energies, other people, um, but overall they're not in a position. They recognize you as the Empress. So they see you as Divine Feminine. You got your shit together, but this person's no match for that energy right now. All right. Um... All right, so their energy, what is this person's energy currently? Current energy, we have Knight of Swords coming out. 
So I feel like their current energy, I do feel like this is in regards to you, okay? When I channel energy, I, I focus on you as a zodiac and then the person that's on your mind. All right, so um, I, I do see this person wants to reach out, okay? It's like this person wants to come flying in and talk to you. These are two very, very fast um, moving cards. So I feel like this energy does have a lot to say to you. Um, and it could be focused on um, the, the work. I feel like this is in relation to inner work they've been doing on themselves. And if it's not inner work, it's, hey, I've been busy um, actually working. And that's why... Um, I haven't, you know, been able to reach out or talk to you. I know that sounds like a, a lame ass excuse, but I'm leaning more towards the inner work. Okay. Um, this person shows up as a page that's, that's immature energy. That's, um, emotional, um, immaturity, you know, um, especially with the page of wands, it's not showing me that's love. It's like more of, um, a lustful type of energy. So you guys could connect as um, friends with benefit or casual relationship type of energy. Um, so your your feelings, Taurus, develop into real true emotions and this person's stuck in, in um, going back and forth, right? What is this person's situation? They're upset about the past. So Taurus, where you're coming out as divine feminine... Where you're coming out as divine feminine energy. It's this is crazy. I just gotta tell you guys, look, we have five, four, three, and two. So this person's um situation, I feel like everything is still kind of fuzzy, all right, for this person, but I do feel like they are trying to break out of that with the three of pentacles. They are trying to move forward. Okay, but I feel when it comes to this connection right now, this person is completely focused on the past missed opportunities okay so this person that's coming out or showing up as a page in your life um they're looking at this so if you taurus were the one um, embodying divine feminine that empress energy hey let's do something about this let's make it work let's stop uh, messing around you know um this person i feel de de declined it they denied it um and now they're in this energy where what did i do all right um, this person's actually quite upset about the past, the missed opportunity that they could have had with you. How do they feel about Taurus? How does this person feel? Oh, look at that. Now it's kind of like they're seeing you as divine energy. I mean, shit, Taurus, look at this. So where this person couldn't figure what the F they were doing before, how do they feel? They see you guys as divine feminine and masculine energy. So you guys are coming out in this person's energy where if you explain before what the deepness of this was, how you felt about this connection, this person's seeing it now. All right. They don't see anybody else. They're like focused on this and what did I do? All right. They see they're now seeing themselves in this divine energy that you were trying to show them before is what I feel. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, I'm getting the chills, literally. This is the ultimate wish fulfillment when it comes to emotional stability, love, um, unconditional love, um, supporting each other um, emotionally, um, you know, sexually, physically. And the Ten of Pentacles is coming out as the ultimate wish fulfillment when it comes to finances, financial security. Like, I want to build an empire with you and have everything like this person is like, oh my God, they're seeing what they've, um, what they've done they're, they're seeing um they're seeing what they've done i mean look at this is beautiful you guys i don't know if you're um, interested i do feel like taurus you are interested in hanging out um with this person i do feel like you if they weren't treating you right before i still feel like you're holding on to their energy because you're like i know what this is i mean that's beautiful these cards i've never seen come out like this this is awesome so where this person couldn't couldn't uh, they couldn't um they couldn't pull up their pants before i mean they're big bridges you know they couldn't do that before they couldn't face the reality of what this was they were scared they're showing up as a page they're showing up as um, um immature energy but now they're just like holy shit does this person want reconciliation with taurus do they want to reconcile yeah they're they're upset what did i do they're upset with themselves. They think it's ended. Oh my God. Look at this. Do they want reconciliation? 
this person is like tripping out so bad they're like i i chose wrong i picked wrong i went the wrong way all right this is a stolen heart card but this person is looking at this like what did i do i mean look at all these energies this is sadness this is stress worry anxiety this person's like truly in their head like what did i do like i probably missed the best thing that ever happened to me talk about missed opportunities um this this person's looking at this like it's the potential love of a lifetime and i just um i fucked it off it this is actually making me want to cry right now taurus because this is um it's really a uh, heavy energy i'm feeling is this person going to reach out are they going to reach out to taurus we have the moon card that's showing me that you guys, um, you guys uh, definitely mirror each other. Um, if anything, Taurus, you're com you you were the first one out, and I feel like you're the one that's in this elevated energy. And with the Moon card, you're like I, you know, I'm I'm, <laughs> I've already done the, the the divine thing. I've already been the bigger person on this connection. I've tr I tried to. Um, I tried with this person. It's all up to them now because I feel like they're the ones that come out in the page status. So you're like, I'm not going out of my way. They're going to have to come with me, to me. All right. But with the moon card coming out for, um, do they want to reconcile? This is, I feel like the secret or the miscommunication is, um, it, they're not verbalizing it. Okay. I feel like this person is trying to figure out how to come forward and tell you what they've been through, what's going on with them. All right. And with the six of cups, this is, um, it, it, it could be the return of a past person. Yes. But this is also reminiscing. All right. And now at least we have the page of cups showing on the bottom. So this is, I feel it's a little more emotionally mature energy than the page of wands. So this is somebody that does want to come forward with something in their cup this time, not just, um, a, a stick in their hand. You know what I mean? So, um, I do feel like they do want to reconcile. Um, I do feel like they want to reach out their intentions. Okay. Yeah. Their intentions. Look at this. They want commitment. So when they reach out, um, it is going to be with the intention of commitment. All right. I feel like this person is going to explain why they walked away from potentially one of the best, um, energies that's ever been in their life you're coming out in the empress energy taurus that says that this person sees you as a divine being um you've done nothing but show them what home is what love is what support is what unconditional um, um treatment is and with the with the death card um for their intentions i feel like what they're saying is um you deserve to be treated um better better especially um than somebody that was just um, something good to feel or look at um and i feel like this this person's intentions are walking away from that past behavior um basically i kind of feel like this is an apology and this person saying i want to redo all right who i was or how i've acted um it's i've transformed that you know i've transformed that what is the advice for taurus the advice look at that it is coming back just so you guys know those of you who aren't believing in it if you're still here just know that this connection is coming back um i do 30 day intention reads and you know if anything it's like look here's a start so for those of you who who feel like this connection is deeper than just a regular relationship um, I feel like the universe is confirming that for you. All right. This person is going to come in and they're going to approach with actual love this time. All right. Embodying King energy. So you kind of seen from this, um, spread, they go from page to night to King and they embody the emotions that you deserve that you deserved in the beginning. They're seeing you guys as the divine couple. Um, now, you know, it's not saying that you guys are going to run off and get married, but at least they're going to come through and talk. Um, we do have free will. So you could not take this person back. Um, I'm going to pull some initials. Yours are there, first, middle, or last. And this is just bonus. You guys, it doesn't mean that the read is not yours if you don't see your initials. So please do not get upset. All right. So we have D coming out. J. M. K. X, 
and H. All right. So just a little further bonus for you guys, Taurus. I love you guys. I hope you'll comment and let me know who this is resonating with. And I will talk to you soon.